So when it comes to the dumbbell versus barbell um, sort of arguments or comparison, we need to know not which one's better, but which one's going to better suit your goals or your targets that you're setting. So uh, a couple of the things that I tend to lay out of the different examples is whether you want uh, more strength or hypertrophy, so muscle size and increasing the, mus- uh, the muscle cross-sectional area, or we're just looking to build greater strength, um, whether you need to achieve greater range of motion um, and stability demands. So, for example, using a dumbbell versus a, a barbell, uh, you'll generally be able to lift greater weights using a barbell because it's fixed, which means that um, it's going to be a little bit more balanced, less stability demand, um, so you can tend to put more weight on it. However, using a dumbbell, you'll tend to be able to gra- gain greater range of motion, which means you'll be able to stretch the muscle further and take it through further ranges of motion. And uh, that will tend to add, um, as long as you've got the right amount of reps, more muscle. So I usually say barbell for strength, dumbbell um, for muscle size. And when it comes to stability, I would say dumbbells tend generally, um, as a rule of thumb, to add a greater deal of uh, demand for stability. So if you think about doing a dumbbell chest press, you'll be a greater demand of stability using dumbbells than they would do using a barbell. Similarly, uh, if you were to go and do an overhead press using a barbell versus a dumbbell, um, it's a lot harder to keep that core st- it's more stable and get both arms working together in a more stable motion with dumbbells. So if you want to try and challenge the stability or even improve stability a bit more, then dumbbells can be favoured in that sense. Um, so once again, dumbbells for sort of stability and maybe greater range of motion and barbells when we come to strength.